What's going on everybody? This is me Alex and in today's video well, I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my phone for 2014 school year because as many of you guys know on Twitter I announced that I have already started my school year, my freshman year in high school actually. Uh, I have started this on past August 20th so about a week ago on Wednesday. No close to that three days ago but still it's pretty cool and I can't wait to go to guys and show you guys what's on my phone and since I did get a new phone over the summer break I did have to download a whole bunch of applications for school such as some note-taking applications and some of them are computing mobile computing applications like Evernote and pocket now for many of those videos so without any more further ado let's go to switch the camera over to the phone and show you guys what's on my phone <laughs> For most people, a phone is just for calling people, and that's all they do on it, and they waste all their money on an expensive phone just for calling people that you can do on almost any other phone. But then again, you get many people that buy their phones for the certain features that they have implemented inside of them, such as this Nexus 5 that I picked up about a week ago. Uh, I picked this phone up because my old phones unfortunately broke that Huawei glory that was absolutely outstanding in specifications, but I decided to pick this one up uh, because it had outstanding specifications and it was graded, and I only paid about 400 bucks for it unlocked uh, for the T-Mobile plan. I got the T-Mobile plan because that's the plan I always really go with any of my phones since I am a member of their plan and they have great customer service. So if you see right there T-Mobile but it does do very well and it does T-Mobile gets very very good service in my area so I do definitely like them in the area that I live and they are expanding their area service so that's another thing and I really do love uh, a whole bunch of things that this phone does have to offer such as Google Drive since it is a good big Google fan all my my whole school pretty much runs on Android uh, Windows or Google uh, there are a few Chromebooks in there unfortunately that I've seen but it's still pretty cool and you can pretty much send uh, uh, applications or or documents onto your Google Drive and then um, have them access it over there. So if you're, you know, doing your homework one day late or just doing a project, go in and send a project over there and they will be happy to look at it. So it's pretty cool uh, the way they did that to us to make it work easily. And if we open up, I'm just going to show you guys some of the applications that I do use on a daily basis. So not really on a daily basis, but uh, some of the applications that I do use. Uh, do range from a whole bunch of utilities to games and uh, along with some more applications such as uh, picture editing and uh, most important pictures uh, along with a few uh, tasking applications like Keep which is a really really cool built in note application in Android that did change from notes so that's another really cool feature that they did implement into this Android phone uh, we have a whole bunch of applications on this phone that came standard but as if you see already I have downloaded it within weeks time I have downloaded quite a bit of few apps and since this phone does have Google Wallet it is a giant enormous feature because I love using the application uh, I use it constantly daily every time you purchase something you can go and pay tap and pay so that's another really cool feature uh, number one application that I use is flashlight and it is on the list it's pretty much a simple flashlight that does activate the single LED on the back of the phone so it is a really cool upside that this phone does have an LED. Unfortunately, my last phone did not have one. That was one downside of this phone. But again, this phone does give uh, outstanding specifications for this value of money of about $350 to $400 on con off contract. That is a great outstanding feature. Uh, one of the other games that I have here is called 100 Balls. It's pretty much you just tap the screen and it dispenses the balls out of the container. Another video or picture editing application that I have on here is Afterlight. It used to be called Afterglow, but for legal consequences, they changed to Afterlight, which uh, does a professionally in-depth editing at pictures, such as Photoshop Express, which you will see later in the video as well. Moving on here, I have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat as my four social icons, YouTube uh, app, camera application, and the Play Store, along with the settings application down below. I have the phone, SMS, Hangouts, App Switcher, which just takes you to your App Switcher, Chrome, and Gmail, which allow me to view my email on my device, so that is a really really cool upside to this phone as well I really do love that uh, that they did happen to include that for you so that's pretty nice that they did that for you of course number three is the calculator and uh, this is possibly the most important app I use this almost every single day 
even it's on a Saturday, even when I don't have homework, I use it because I have to calculate things like a certain amount of time and how many titles I have to put in my videos. Um, there is me camera again. That's possibly the fourth application right now. And it pretty much just shows me some of the applications in this video for some updates and shows me multiple the uh, devices and um, the camera I can do multiple things since this is a Google phone I love doing photospheres here is my most important one this is Google Drive now I use this every single day no matter what I do um, I just upload pictures I go ahead and upload images videos to it and I just got 50 gigabytes of storage um, so for free so that's pretty cool and Dropbox comes in next actually Dropbox may be a bit more important but uh, it's pretty much the same because if you combine them you get a total of 100 gig storage I'm actually paying for my Dropbox right now so that's a different story but uh, Google Earth is another application here that I use for science uh, well will use for science later in the year but this phone this application just came on this phone when I did purchase it so it wasn't really a big difference but um, it does run really really smoothly and I think this is like the only Android Google Earth ever runs on smoothly so that's another upside to this phone next is Facebook uh, along with next one here is file manager which I actually had to download off of the Play Store because unfortunately they did not include it here Google settings Google Plus guess the emoji which is a really really fun game along with Google Hangouts I also have hill climb racing and iFunny uh, along with Instagram and insta size which is another Instagram photo editor which I love because it allows you to take the full size image and pretty much just fit it into the Instagram box so you could get better quality technically because it is cropping it down or uh, resizing it down uh, from a higher end image into one small image kind of like um, the old one did see these images right here I just got a new um, exhaust system put on my truck so that's pretty cool over here I also got uh, more images so if you open this one up it's just gonna go in and allow you to add some borders layers and stuff like that so if you can go ahead and right here and click and add a border you can go ahead and add a border of a choice of a color and you have the also the option to purchase some the app is free though so that's pretty cool I did enjoy that part of this um, so I didn't have to worry anything about that but there was really no worry because, however, I did have a whole bunch of applications on here. A next one is called Keep, and that allows me to um, take some quick notes in class. If I can also hook up a Bluetooth keyboard if I want to. I actually use a Apple Bluetooth wireless keyboard on an Android device, and all my friends make fun of me for doing that because, first of all, it's pretty much a waste of money. Um, you can be using it on the iPad Air, but however, I just decided not to do that. I will bring you guys another video on the iPad Air, what's on, what's in it for school later in the video, later in the year actually, um, probably next weekend around so that time, whenever I can think of another idea. Over here is again Google Wallet. I didn't have time to set it up, unfortunately, yet, but it is amazing. You can still use it without having to fully set it up. Uh, so far, it has been great to use that every single day, every single time you want to buy something at the store or anything else. You just tap and pay and allows you to do that scan, Tron, and everything else like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys already have not done so to stay tuned to latest and greatest tech here on HD Alex Films. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, see you guys in my next one. Peace.